G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this video is the showcase and announcement of the winners to this month's challenge of the month. And the theme for the December 2015 challenge of the month was Epic Santa, where participants were encouraged to create a depiction of Father Christmas being insanely epic and uh, their interpretations vary from the dramatic to the hilarious. This December challenge of the month has also marked the biggest prize pool we've ever had and has resulted of course in the biggest pool of entries we've ever had with almost 800 entries that is just insane the prize pool has been somewhat restructured into an open category and a beginner category which i feel has worked really well so i'm going to stick with that moving forward before we jump into the showcase and the announcement of the winners uh, i want to first encourage you all to check out all of the amazing entries now of course with 800 entries there's only so much time in a video that i can make work uh, and show off certain artworks and talk about stuff but there is a slideshow that shows all of the entries with some music in the background, I highly encourage you to go check it out because they are absolutely amazing and so many of them were really noteworthy or hilarious and I just can't fit them all in or give them all prizes. But I want to thank everyone who participated and for everyone who's watching this, make sure to go check them out because you will be very inspired and impressed. So without further ado, here is the showcase for the December 2015 Challenge of the Month. Artist Kirian Tram created a piece called I Don't Know What's Happening in This Picture, which happens to be Santa running through a field full of of flying aggressive sharks and a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Artist Dickie Dirt painted Epic Santa, who is absolutely epic, riding Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with all guns blazing while carrying a minigun and firing off missiles in an apocalyptic wasteland. Artist Demp painted Epic Santa, who had just defeated a giant beast, standing in a victorious pose, sword over his shoulder, with torn sleeves and an epic weathered expression. Artist Nis Kratos painted the Super Saiyan Santa, which made me laugh. I love the fact that his beard's going up in a golden Super Saiyan burst as well. There's also a nice mix of solid line and shading on the Santa as well as a paintedly sort of background and environmental effect. Artist S. Fancy Cholo painted Saint Nick. And while this piece might at first seem fairly simplistic but well painted, it becomes more and more hilarious the more you look at it. Especially when you realise that at his feet are figures like Goku, Darth Vader, Captain America and Batman. Beyond on the subtly well executed humour, the painting style and techniques are really impressive and well pulled off. Artist Amar Gard painted this epic piece which I'm absolutely biased in showing because it includes almost all of the character designs I've created in my character design videos and it's really fun to see this artist depict them all joining Santa on the sleigh. So uh, yes, um, I, I'm absolutely biased in showing this piece because it made me smile so big. And it's also really well put together, so fantastic work. Artist Emperor Kronos Z drew epic Santa in graphite pencil, the shading and the proportions and style of this piece are extremely well executed. Artist Carlos Sab painted Santa's portals, which shows his little sneaky trick for how he gets into houses, I suppose, if they don't have a chimney. It's well painted, and I particularly like how the, the portals themselves are actually quite accurately show what the other portal will be seeing when looking through it. So uh, obviously a lot of time taken to make sure this works and it has worked. It's a really great job there. McDraw painted Santa's summer job. This one made me laugh because he's obviously changing his look to be like his uh, favorite wrestler who happens to be Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And I get the feeling he might just pull it off. So now we arrive to the prize winners and we're going to start off with the beginner category and then go on to the open category. So this is the pool of finalists for the December 2015 Epic Santa Challenge of the Month and each of these beginner category finalists will receive a free copy of my ebook Draw with Jazza Fun with Faces from the jazzastudios.com shop. Otaku Artist 247 put together this really dramatic traditional piece of Santa and a whole bunch of really epic stuff around it, bursting with colour and really well made. Umesh Chandra's piece of epic Santa riding a scooter with uh, his presence instead of a sleigh has a really nice crisp stylistic feel to it and is well shaded. 
Ice Kamara's piece shows a lot of depth and ambition and is really well coloured and put together for a traditional piece. And I really like the epic armoured design of Santa and his elf army. Hipster Squid's depiction of epic Santa is as epic as it can be as he rides a velociraptor on jetpacks in space, holding an American flag while carrying a lightsaber and Thor's hammer, while in the background are astronauts Goku, a flying shark with a laser for a head, a tank, a dragon, a motorbike, and a giant giant explosion among other things so uh it's it's difficult to fit more epic in it than that Schmuck's depiction has the epic Santa doing the splits at the reindeers at the head of his sleigh while flying in midair and uh, just crossing his arms in a badass expression. Mater digitally painted a really ambitious piece showing him on his sleigh while an explosion is in the background in a dramatic sequence and uh, there's a lot of ambition in this piece for someone developing as an artist so fantastic work and it's really nice to see your efforts there. Double the Matrix's piece is called Special Delivery. This piece reminds me of game of Thrones for some reason. We have this really epic brooding Santa at the helm of his sleigh with an army of sleighs pulled by reindeer and loaded with presents. Absolutely amazing entries, really ambitious and creative ideas. And now we're on to our runner up and then winner of the beginner category. And our runner up prize goes to artist Jacob Caleb with this piece called King of the Holidays. This highly ambitious traditional piece shows Santa Claus trumping all of the other holiday characters from the Easter Bunny to Cupid with the help of his uh, very badass snowman and very sensuous Mrs. Claus. <laughs> A highly ambitious piece and really well executed. You'll be receiving a copy of the art compilation book 21 Draw and a Stillman and Burn 9x12 Epsilon series sketchbook, as well as one item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. And the first prize winner of the beginner category of the challenge of the month goes to artist Carol Draws, who created this ambitious traditional piece showing a lot of depth and a lot of ambition. There's a lot of interesting action happening throughout and the color and solidity of the piece as well as the strong style and textures throughout are very impressive and extremely ambitious. And they're definitely well deserving of the first prize of the beginner category, which happens to be a Wacom Intuos Draw tablet. The Wacom Intuos Draw is a really great entry level tablet for artists, easily capable of producing professional results and comfortable and enjoyable to use. So hopefully you'll get a lot of fun use out of that, as well as one item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. So if the finalists and the runner-up and first prize winners check your account on Newgrounds for a private message. I'll send you the details on how to claim your prizes. And now we move on to the open category. So basically, entrants to the challenge of the month were able to opt into entering a beginner category or entering their piece into the open category. So artists who enter the beginner category were not eligible to be judged or receive prizes for the open category. But of course, the level of competition was at a much more reasonable level for people and much more more attainable for people who are starting off in art. And now in the open category, we have some incredible entries and a lot of ambition. So I want to start off by showing you the finalists of the open category and all of these finalists will receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. Artist Lavengi painted Santa the Demon Slayer enthusiast who had just decapitated a demon's head. The thing that stands out most about this piece, aside from the well executed concept, is the amazing style. Really crisp colouring and strong silhouettes and use of shapes. It's visually quite simple and comfortable and easy to look at, but at the same time, it's that simplicity and the subtlety and the use of texture and detail that make this piece really stand out. And it's just one of my favourite pieces stylistically. So fantastic work. Casey Dallas's piece of Epic Santa shows him as a sorcerer type character summoning the powers of Christmas to, I am assuming, write the naughty nice list and watch people while they're sleeping and know when they're awake. This piece is so dramatic, really well put together, and I feel like it should be a Magic the Gathering card, but I'm not sure in what context a Santa Claus Magic the Gathering card would be, uh, you know, fitting. Typhon Art painted Santa Brings Metal, showing him riding on a gnarly sleigh, a little bit stoned slash drunk while wearing his jacket and clothing depicting his favourite bands. Stunningly painted, the lighting is especially impressive, and the environment is subtle but really well implemented as well. Giedri has painted Santa on his mech, I'm assuming it's a present delivery mech, but it seems uh, equipped to use presents and light bulbs as ammunition. I guess, uh, and bringing the holiday cheer uh, and murder. 
The angle is ambitious, the detail is immaculate, and the entire piece is so high quality and shows how much work the artist has put into their entry. Now we arrive to the ever anticipated runner up and first prize winner of the challenge of the month and the runner up prize goes to artist John Wig with a piece called The Goblin Revolt of 1337. Not only is this piece visually epic but the artist has created a really exciting historical event around the Santa Claus mythology. Essentially that long ago in the past Santa used to use goblins to create the toys in his factory until there was a big revolt and a big war in the, uh, the North Pole where a Upon the epic Santa burst out, along with, I suppose, his very sexy Mrs. Claus. But the piece overall is absolutely thematically dramatic and epic and fits the theme amazingly well and ticks all of the boxes. So fantastic work and a well-deserved runner-up prize winner who will be receiving a medium Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. The Intuos Pro is jam-packed with loads of awesome features such as touch strips and express keys, high levels of pressure sensitivity, as as well as being extremely comfortable and capable of producing extremely professional results. They'll also be receiving an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. And now we arrive to the announcement of the winner of the first prize of the challenge of the month. And the first prize is awarded to artist All or Nothing with this amazing piece. The attention to detail is immaculate and the feeling of depth in the piece with the environment affecting the colouring of his limbs when they're at the back of his body or the crispness and uh, the attention to silhouette and detail where appropriate. Even to the point where the tattoo on his arm seems to wrap around his shoulder and the details of his face and the texture on his gun and skin are all incredibly well done. On top of all that, this artist has shown a lot of ambition and progressed their skills and shown a really high level of professionalism and an amazing execution in this piece here. So an amazing piece, highly, highly deserving of the first prize, which happens to be a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD. Now, if you haven't heard of the Wacom Cintiq before, you might want to do your research. They are, in my opinion, the absolute best of the best when it comes to digital tablets. They're LCD display tablets with high levels of detail and color representation, pressure sensitivity, and all that stuff along with all the touch strip features and everything that comes with all the Intuos tablets, along with the amazing display capabilities that Cintiq provide. So if you want to check out more about this tablet or any other of the awesome Wacom products who have been an amazing sponsor to the challenge of the month, make sure to click the link on the screen or in the description. The artist All or Nothing will receive that Wacom Cintiq tablet as well as an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. So if all of the finalists and prize winners of the open category also check their Newgrounds PM inbox, you will see a private message showing you how to claim your prizes. So ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the conclusion of the December and all of the 2015 challenges of the month. I can't thank you all enough. The challenge of the month competitions have more than doubled in the prize values and the entries and participants and even the quality of the works. It's just been absolutely astounding. And I, every month, am incredibly grateful and humbled to have the honor of having you all participate in this amazing experience. Experience. And I'm so, so glad to uh, to have had this year and I'm really excited to uh, seeing where 2016 takes us with the channel and of course with the challenge of the month. As usual, I want to give a big thank you to our amazing sponsors who donate their awesome products to the challenge of the month. And I honestly do not include any sponsors that I do not believe in. So these are all products and uh, artists that I can really back, that I have personal experience with, I use and I can absolutely recommend them. And finally, Finally, moving forward, I'm going to start off 2016 with a new challenge of the month. I won't be opening it to voting because I have a pretty cool idea, so I'm excited to uh, reveal that to you next week. And I also wanted to just add a few words about the new categories, the open and the beginner categories. There have been quite a number of people who have tagged their entries as both beginner and open category entries. I just wanted to point out that that's not going to work in any way, shape or form to make you more eligible to receive prizes uh, in future, and I'll include details in the next challenge of the month launch video, uh, you're not going to be any more considered for prizes. If anything, it's going to be disqualifying you from consideration if you use tactics like that to try and be eligible for more than one prize group. But I understand the sentiment. There was also a bit of a mix up where the underscore was changed to a hyphen. So it's obviously forgivable because I made the mistake of not quite knowing that. So I assume people were just trying to be better safe than sorry. 
So I totally understand, but moving forward, I'm gonna make sure that there's a lot more clarity and uh, I'm also gonna do my best to make sure that there's no room for fraudulent entries in 2016 uh, because there are occasionally, unfortunately, some entrants who use some stolen imagery or photography integrated into their artwork. And this is an illustration competition. It's an originality and uh, production competition. So really uh, the point of the competition is to challenge yourself and to build something from scratch, build it from the ground up and then uh, share it with the community. Whether you win a prize or not, that's just uh, a part of the experience, but really the experience is challenging yourself and having an enjoyable time getting involved in something as a group. I really hope you've all enjoyed viewing and participating in the challenges of the month this year. And as always, I want to thank all of the participants with all of my heart for entering. I wish I could say more and show more. Unfortunately, I'm limited in that capacity, but I'm so grateful and I view every single artwork and they all make me smile. So thank you so much for all the effort you've gone to. And here's to 2016 being just as enjoyable and exciting as 2015 has been. Thank you all so much for your support and until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see new content every week. Check out more of my stuff by clicking the annotations over there. If you want to support my work and get a few goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, and get yourself something nice. If you're looking for a great place to collaborate, explore, or share your own content, head over to newgrounds.com. That's it for now, and until next time, see you later.